The U.S. Security Council will formally recommend former Portuguese Prime Minister Antonio Guterres to the General Assembly for election next Thursday. Russia's U.N. Ambassador Vitaly Cherkin, president of the 15-member council for October, made the announcement. What would you say to the millions of women who have been expecting a woman to be Secretary General and who are disappointed today? Well, uh, I, would, uh, I would say that uh, we have had a very fair process. We encouraged the presentation of women as candidates. Uh, we had 50 percent of the candidates uh, were women from the outset to the last uh, straw poll. But ultimately, I think there was a general agreement uh, among members of the Security Council and beyond that the most important thing is to have uh, the best candidate available. And it so happened that the best candidate available turned out to be Mr. Antonio Guterres. U.S. Ambassador Samantha Power told reporters there was just she one candidate whose experience, vision, and versatility across a range of areas proved compelling. The 67-year-old Guterres will replace 72-year-old Ban Ki-moon, who will step down at the end of 2016 after serving two terms. When Guterres spoke to the U.N. General Assembly in April, he said he was a candidate to become Secretary General because it was the best place to address the root cause of human suffering. Because if things continue as they are right now, I fear not only for the lives of refugees, but for the future of European asylum. Guterres was Prime Minister of Portugal from 1995 to 2002. He was also the U.N. High Commissioner for Refugees from June of 2005 to December of 2015. Thirteen people were nominated in the race to become the next Secretary General. According to the UN Human Rights Watch Group, the next Secretary General will have to be a person who can stand up to the very people that elected him. Frank Uciardo, Rise News, the United Nations.